Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today, we are doing the cigar that Eric smoked one. If you have one, sent me. And I, I was going to save it for a while. And he goes, I really want to know what you think about it. Because that's the only one I have. So please do. So I go, okay, fine. I'll smoke it this weekend. And this is where we're at. This is the My Father's. CRA 2021 exclusive because there is no other way to call this. Did I get this right? All right let me take a look. Um, uh, no, it's called CRA Freedom Cigar Pack exclusive. So, yeah, I mean, from the surface, it actually looks like a San Andreas wrapper because it's got these dots so but you know in order to get a better look let's take a look at the cigar all right my father cra fall 2021 freedom sampler exclusive blend size is toro 6x50 other estimated value is about 20 dollars they did not give any blend information but you can tell that this is like a dark spotty weirdo looking um, leaf it's either san andreas or close to something like a bra leaf because how how that looks like but you know we don't know until actually smoking it this is really like distinct however you want to call it because this red band and the, this red bottom foot band only appear in one of these not other ones so that's what we got so let's get started Well, the foot smell like plummy. It does smell like it smell like Nicaraguan. Now the wrapper might not be San Andreas because it doesn't stink. So I can't tell. I can't tell. Usually it will stink, but it doesn't. The foot has that cocoa-y smell. Woodsy and cocoa-like. Oh my god, a draw is horrible. Woodsy and chocolate, yeah. A little bit sweet too. This might be a good cigar. Damn it. That's running out. That is running out. Mm. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Woodsy. Mm. 
little bit spicy, chili. Definitely like chili pepper, like a little bit of cocoa. A little bit of earthiness. Some sort of spice mix. It's got a, a little mineral aftertaste at the end. Yeah, there's a little bit of like a mineral, um, thick bitterness to it at the end, but it kind of quickly goes away. What lingers is a, I don't know, like a bready texture. That's all I got right now. So let me smoke one third. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're at one third now. Um, the cigar is muddy. It's thick. It's like molasses. It's um, really a muddy, chocolatey taste. The jar is a little thick. Uh, I think there's a little bit of paprika flavor to here too. Still a little bit of peppery. Strain's about medium, medium plus. It's actually quite pleasant. Smoke output is nice. Just the draw is a little tough on me today. So you can see, uh, this is really tight packed. <laughs> There's like no room left. So yeah, not bad cigar so far. I don't know if it's worth $20. Um, but it, you know, we gotta put in account that it is a one of those exclusive blend made just for this thing. I don't know how many they made, so. But first there, not too bad. Pleasant, nice, dark flavor. Uh, definitely something to go with the coffee. I will also recommend. Probably go really nice with cream soda too. Th that flavor. I want to say there's a little bit of nutmeg kind of flavoring here too. Very, um, earlier I got a little bit of like mustiness, but that went away really quickly too. So like I was like, first of all, maybe there is Mexican cinnamon on it, but that goes away really quickly. I, th I don't even taste it anymore. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Could be, could be raw leaf though. So yeah, overall not a bad cigar, so I will say we'll continue second third. Be right back. Second third. <clears throat> Strength. Maybe a medium plus. Still chocolate. A little bit more floral. Earthiness still there. Still like tingly, but not really peppery. Dark, heavy notes. It's a really enjoyable cigar. And I just wish I have a cup of latte or coffee here to go with it because it's pretty good. It's not bad. Just my draw is just horrible. The draw is horrible. And it's really weird because um, after I'm done with that puff, everything goes away. There's a lingering like almond taste. And the almond taste was time, like, it was swapped between that and like a really you know, weird earthiness. But that doesn't bother me that much. So we'll continue to smoke it. Last third, be right back. All right, last third. So last third, the flavor became a little bit died down, but pepper ramped up a little bit more. Okay, strength still kind of creeping up slowly. It's like medium plus, but still trying to get to full. It's still, it's not there, but it's creeping up. It's starting to feel like a chore. 
with the little bit die down flavor, retro hill become very important. And because the pepper bottom here can retro hill as much, so there was a give and take a little bit here and there, right? Uh, let's take a look at the bin. That's the red bin. Very unique, different uh, compared to the rest of them. Gets a gets the message through. It really does. Like you know, it's different. You know, special. So even though it doesn't take a lot, right? Uh, in terms of the overall express uh, um, impression, I I'm thinking that they are trying to do something different. They are trying to give you a pungent, satisfying, full experience. With the cigar however to me the cigar has dry issue flavor died down luster creeping up strength those are a little bit of i think by byproduct of what they are trying to do with the cigar okay it's not a bad cigar is a my father style safe a stronger blend I like it I think it's good I can't give it 20 because of all the issues that I'm having but I think I can give it 17 to 18 which I think is fair for this one because 20 is like a value I don't they don't sell this individually so it's not really 20 but 17 to 18 is pretty good especially if you like a higher strength flavorful uh, cigar and you're gonna get that here you are gonna get this for that, and and like if you didn't see, it, I got coffee for myself because this is a very enjoyable cigar with the coffee. Very very enjoyable. You can drink it black, but because of strength, I add a little bit more of uh, milk in there so that it's not. It's kind of calm it down a little bit. Overall, good experience, good cigar, draw issue. Um, I had there was one section I had to relight like three times. I don't know what happened, but. Overall, I think it's a good cigar. Like, it's more like uh, one of those cigars that you will like with some minor problems, but those problems are how do I describe it? Not very important problem. However, it did affect the cigar. Does that make sense? They are, they, are, they are normal problem, dry issue and stuff like that. They are normal problem, but they did kind of pause my in, enjoyment of the cigar more than other. Because I, I, I think I was hoping for more for this one. But those things kind of like, okay, you relight it, you got a whole section of not a very good smoke, and then it goes back to normal again. And then by the time you get to the last third, you're like, okay, the flavor starts to get a little bit dull. Pepper starts to ramp up a little bit. Strength still slowly creeping up. It kind of feel not very satisfied. So yeah, 17, 18, that's what I got. Okay, so if you do find one, go try one. It's actually not a bad cigar. Hopefully you got one that's better than mine, okay? So thanks to Eric, Smoke One, if you have one for providing the cigar, it is one of those cigars that unless you buy the whole pack, you're not going to get it. Or if you buy some other deal that comes with a few, right? They don't sell it individually. So big thanks to him because I wouldn't otherwise go buy that pack. So I have a majority of the cigars in that pack already. I wouldn't just go buy a pack for a single or whatever, right? And um, yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Tell me your experience. Maybe it's different than mine. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.